and a little bit less hands and just tighter, like, ooh, look at this. Uh, bring your hands lower, it's like you're holding a ball. Yes, just in there. Good, good. Welcome to another episode of Brand New, where we highlight the coolest emerging food stories and dive deep into the story behind the brand. Renee Dunn is with us. Tell us uh, a little about you and a little about these products. I started Amazi about four years ago now is when I first kind of broke into the scene. I did my thesis research in Uganda. Uganda, I think in all of the African continent, has the largest amount of naturally organic produce. I was really struck by just how delicious their produce was and just the variety of fruits they had. I wanted to find an opportunity to highlight the fruits in Uganda, but also have them made in Uganda so that we could have more direct connection between the folks in Uganda and the people on the US side. But what about yeah. the freshness of these ingredients, the jackfruit? These are enormous jackfruit. Jackfruit in particular, it has a texture that's almost like meaty, but the flavor is like a juicy fruit. It's like mango and pineapple and banana all mixed together in one. When I would go home to the US, I was like, why don't I have this here? Why? Let's talk about your plantain chips. The texture is very different from a typical plantain chip. Our plantain chips are dried and roasted instead of fried. It's almost like caramelized. It's really hearty and crunchy. You don't get any of the greasiness. We use a sweet plantain. Um, it's actually called gonja. Gonja? Gonja. Gonja. Um, nice. Uh, so we have like a salted coconut oil yep. and a salted olive oil and chili spice. I really like to use as like salad toppings. I've also seen people like make falafel with them or like I personally just like to put them on a charcuterie plate and like eat them with goat cheese or different dips. Cocoa plantain chips. These I actually eat like cereal or granola. They taste kind of like cocoa puffs if you put them in milk. You gotta leave good milk, right? It's the best part. I love these. I love these. These are tasty, very cool. Hit subscribe, try some of this. Talk about the work, the yeah. scenario that goes into that. It really starts at the farmer level. People are kind of limited there to jobs at the farm level as opposed to food production or anything supply chain related. And it, it's all there in their backyard. We have a dedicated Amazi production facility. So take me through breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's that gonna be like in Uganda, all right? So there's this really traditional dish called katogo. It's basically a stew of usually plantains as the base. The most common one has like goat intestines and goat meat. Okay. That's my breakfast, right? It's gonna be yeah, hard to match. All right, so that's goat. you trying to be, that's you taking care of me. Yeah, right? and then lunch, what's called matoke. And then they have a local liquor called waraji, which is like very... Waraji? Yeah, it's very unpleasant to drink. Right. But they still drink ices, like Smirnoff ices. <laughs> like, I don't know if you've heard of the term icing someone, but you like get on one knee and like, somebody has to chug an ice. Shoes. Um, those come in three different flavors. My personal favorite is the chili lime. I keep one bag in my glove compartment at all times and like eat it when I'm hangry on the road. You could use it in like a chutney, you can use it on a salad, you can put it in a trail mix. They're really nice with like a citrusy salad because they'll kind of rehydrate and get that nice juicy texture. And now it's time for the always entertaining, super popular portion of Brand New, it's five questions. For every question our brand gets right, we're gonna put $100 of Brand Bucks in their account. And then you can go to otherstore.com while supplies last to try these products for free. 
We'll put all the details and links below in the description. First question, best town in America to eat. You're gonna from Friday to Sunday. Where are you going? Austin, Texas. I took myself there for my birthday this year, solo trip, and did a little food tour. Very much worth it. I think you're on the money. <laughs> All time best cookie. I don't know if you've heard of this company called Fat and Weird Cookies. They stuff things inside of cookies. Wow. I was thinking Oreo, Chips Ahoy, Fudge Stripes. Yep. World's best carbs. Everything bagels. You know, a good box of cereal. Give me top three cereals and the milk they leave. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't really love these as the cereal, but the milk is great. Um, Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. And Cocoa Puffs. It leaves chocolate milk. Exactly. That's why you want to drink it. Give me an all-time movie for the people watching that'll make you hungry. Go. Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Ding, ding, ding. Are you a plantain chipper or a jack fruiter? Comment below, you could win both of these products. Now it's time for our journey to the center of the pantry. That's when Renee takes us to the center of her pantry. I can interrogate her, embarrass her, and find out more about what makes her tick. This is what we got. Also, just peep in that corner over there. Just a plug. <laughs> Shameless plug right there. All right, what's the huge, enormous red bag right there? It's called Undeniable Beauty. We got oats. Rolled oats, bee pollen. This is anti-immunity. I mean, I mean, it is immunity boosting. <laughs> anti-immunity. Uh, I'm anti-immunity. What about you? I'm we I'm very I against. Get real sick. It's bee pollen. So you just you pour it like a liquid? No, it's like little granules. Okay. And then I have chocolate PB2. I have these rice packets. I like a lot. Let me just tell you something. We could not be quarantined together. I promise you right now, based on what's it. Renee, great to see you. You got a great story to tell. The products are awesome. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I'm really excited to be part of this uh, whole idea and project. I like the challenge. It's very exciting. Get in on the action, subscribe, and get those notifications for more awesome episodes.